the starter, and they'll start from the 25-yard line. With two tight ends, he fakes a pitch on a bootleg. He's in trouble already, but he got the pass complete, and it's going to be a first down to Antonio. His feet as well as his arm. Here's Calvin Taylor's first carry, and Taylor pops it out to the 40-yard line. Good game before Deion Jones knocks it as he sets up to the left of Harris. And he's going to lead the way for Taylor. And a good block by Jake. And got, again, quarterback run possibility here with Harris. And Powell is blasted for a loss. Well, he made an impact, but so did Deion. This was a zone read type play for Harris. He gives it to Powell. It looked like he had a blocker in front with Jake McGee that he might have been able to keep that ball as it was an excellent play by Deion Jones. Fake it to Taylor on the bootleg. Harris got a lot of room in front of him, and here he goes. This is what he does very well. Out of bounds. Gives the defense a whole nother thing to worry about. It's a bootleg. He's got three receivers that he has a chance to go to. Doesn't like what he sees downfield. Turns it into a positive. In the pistol, it's Taylor behind Harris. He gets the call straight up the middle. Runs into a wall wearing a white jersey with gold pants. And that was look. Harris. Pressured. He's going to dive near the first down marker, but he went out of bounds, I think, short. Well, lineman to help block. Harris throws on the run. Got his man in the corner. It's a touchdown, and it is Jake McGee. And Treon Harris delivers. That couldn't get there fast enough for Jake. <laughs> you want to throw it right at him? Jake McGee knew where the sideline was. Good footwork on the sideline. And what a gutsy call on fourth and less than one. Credit, never stopped preparing like a starter, and he's off to a good beginning. Two for two so far for a touchdown pass, and this is the other thing he does well, and that's run. And he gets over on a wing right, and they're just going to give it off and hope that Taylor can get to the sticks, and I think he got it. He did. True freshman. Good players, but young. Harris, plenty of time. Completes it to Powell out of outs. And Taylor behind Treon Harris. Second down and nine. LSU is going to blitz, and it pays off. Kendall Beck anticipate run. That's what this is. Here's Beck with it's a run blitz, anticipating run, and you shoot a gap, you beat a block, and you get a play behind the line of scrimmage. Harris on the rollout, on the run, and he throws a strike to Powell. First down for Powell was in the slot. It was a flood route. There were three receivers to the right side. They move Harris out of the pocket, utilizing his mobility and a nice, accurate throw. That was a nice throw and catch again to Powell. Powell's a tough matchup. Yeah. Have to rush with discipline with a guy like Harris. Trion, there you go. Just what Todd's talking about. They track him down a yard shy, and it's Lewis. They had six first down plays, and four of them gained four yards or more. Calvin Taylor, this one won't get four. Tight end. Harris in trouble, and after a timeout, that's not much of a play. Yeah. Third down until this one right here. About a three yard gain. To DeMarcus Rock, if you haven't seen him, you'll see him on Super Tuesdays this year with Sean Farnham and I. It's Harris on a throw, and a good one it is. Complete Antonio Callaway, the freshman. Nope, they're going to say. Deion Harris, he was running, throwing to the sideline, and he kind of lofted it, put a lot of air under it. Callaway not able to get his foot in bounds. Only needs one. Take a look at this again. Close. At that point, I don't know if you know if he still has full possession of the football. Trigon completes it to his tight end who got hammered. After it. They back out of the blitz. Look, still there's pressure on Harris, and down he goes. It's 21 to 7, just like that. Now, Treon Harris running out of trouble, and he gets a first down. See, that's what I think he... Two minutes in the half. Remember, Florida's used all of their timeouts already. Harris avoided a big hit and got a couple... They fake it to Taylor, and Harris goes to the end zone to the tight end, Jake McGee. Team point lead again. 
Treon Harris will give it off. Calvin Taylor just a safe play. And the last for a touchdown. So those two plays were huge late in the second quarter. Let's see if they can gear it up to start the third. Calvin Taylor. And Taylor, one of his better runs yeah. of the night. Really nice block on the outside of Miami. Blocking on the perimeter, watching the left side of your screen. You're going to see 81 lock his man up, keeps his hands inside. And Kelvin Taylor does a nice job of just cutting off of that block. And right off the number one on the back of his jersey on tight, and it's Callaway moving around. Fake it to Taylor. And good read. Nice job by not trying to throw that into any traffic. And Treon Harris picks. Ideally, you get him out on the perimeter, but it was a good upfield rush. And Harris made a nice read cutting inside the block of his tight end Goolsby and turning it into a fur of the Gators. That one catch. Again, play action. He's looking that way and going that way. And wide open is Goolsby. And Goolsby's inside the 25. He got looked up. Goolsby coming out of the backfield. Here's Goolsby. He's going to run out to the outside. Two defenders are going with Demarcus Robinson on the inside post route. The corner and the safety were thinking what you were thinking. And meanwhile, the tight end gets it all the way down. And second down and 18. Treon Harris Step straight up. up the middle. Broke one tackle. Nice run inside the 20. And he's going to get a first down or very close. He's about a yard shy. Keep your eyes downfield. And then if you have to run, run up through the middle. Because that LSU defense is chasing receivers. Instead of trying to get outside the defense, go up underneath them. And how about that move in the open field? Yeah. <laughs> Again, Florida, as they've done a couple times earlier, bring in third down and one. Calvin Taylor. Oh, man, he ran into a wall wearing number four. It's all about leverage and short yardage plays. Nice job on the inside by Godshaw, number 57. He took. Harris gives it off to Scarlett, heading to the corner. He's got the first and a bunch more the LSU door. Good spot here. Play action bootleg. Treon Harris. It's Neal chasing him again. Throws at the last second. He gets the pitch. Got a yard. Tight ends in the backfield. And now will empty over to the left side. Kelvin Taylor. He's trying to get a block for him. Taylor cuts it in. Touchdown. Gators. Harris. Play fake bootleg. Here comes Neal again. Alvin Taylor behind Treon in the pistol, and he'll get the carry, and he'll get dropped in his tracks by Tashaun. They've had short yardage on third down. they got a whole bunch here. Middle screen to Taylor. Can he outrun everybody, though? And he might, after all. Set up well by Treon, and then watch the open field running. Breaking a couple tackles, spinning towards that first down, and then reaching. Front rights in the backfield now for the Gators. He's going to get a carry on the inside and lose a yard. A little motion on the offense. Number 81 is going toward the line of scrimmage. That's a five-yard penalty. Yeah, but it's not the CFL, Antonio. <laughs> The throw intended for McGee, and he somehow stole it away from the defender. I thought it was going to be Taylor back in there, a tailback, and he'll get the carry. Maybe two. Harris, too high for Powell. Difference. Kellen Taylor cuts it outside. Nice game. Good run. Out to the 42. Creon Harris. Kelvin. Looking for the first down, first of all, and he got it with second effort, I think. They look at the hole. He's stretching this play, and he's looking for a crease. And at the last minute, he plants, cuts up, gets his shoulders north and south, and gets to the, fight, to the first down yardage. Of course, his dad, a great gainer and a great NFL player, Fred. Calvin, they're going to bring the change from the far side. Harris. Running out of time, maybe that's a good thing. Running with the ball, flags down, he got the... Personal foul, hands to the face, offense, number 78. That's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Tackle. 
There it is right there, the left hand up into the face of Arden Key. Do backfield, you either think it's a quarterback run or he's going to fire, and he does, and he threw a strike. And it's DeMarcus Robinson, and Robinson inside the 25, a flag at the end of the play. But, but uh, we're going to take away the penalty. There is no foul for targeting. The hit was in the chest. Yeah. It was a good First block. Down. Good block by Callaway. And Powell settles in on a slot to the right side as Treon Harris in trouble again. Going to try to get rid of this one, and he got it over to the sideline. It was in the area. Intentional grounding. Offense, number three. That's a spot foul. Loss of down. So he's right here. See, he never left the pocket. He moved up, moved over a little bit, but when he threw the ball, he wasn't outside the tackle box, if nothing else. He'll roll the throw. And throws it away. Harris lets it rip. Deep man there. Got it. No, and he dropped it. Had it and Gonna go deep. Overshot everybody. Was intended for. Harris waits and waits and goes short. And that again. From You'll know in a moment if they get it or not. They didn't turn his hips and change directions and get a hand on the football. That's an athletic play. A hook and ladder or something like that down here is it too dangerous at your own 10. I don't think you need to do that yet. Powell. Harris is waiting too long. That's Harris in his own end zone. Fires long on the run. It is caught by Callaway. That means Powell would be the goal. Harris can't get sacked or it's going to be over. Incomplete onto the bottom here. Maybe two plays left. Harris again taking all kinds of time. Fires as far as he can. Broken up. 